All right, y'all. This has been a long time coming. I have been meaning to react to Triple S like the last four music videos they posted and just always don't get around to it. I don't know what it is. Maybe maybe there's a fear on the inside of me that maybe I won't like them or something. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'd, I'm just a coward. Too scared to get into a new group. Suck me in and make me just listen to their music nonstop. I don't know. But they have a new album out. Uh, I'm going to try to react to the album in the next coming days. So I am going to check out Girls Never Die because it's the single for the album. And yeah, uh, hopefully it is a slapper, a banger, a, you know, fire ass song. Have no clue what type of group this is in terms of sound, in terms of how they operate, what they tend to do in their verses. I don't know. I just know that Triple S sounds cool. And like I said, I've seen their, their things a couple times in terms of like on my YouTube page and just haven't ever checked them out. So today is finally the day we're going to do it. Uh, Girls Never Die, official music video. Let's get it. Or not. Oh, we got it. Wow. Okay, so pretty uh, big scale music video, probably. Suits go fire. And those birds are crazy. What? 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 Okay, before we get into the verse, because maybe I won't like the verse and it'll ruin everything, but that hook specifically, cooking. Put that down on the record. That, that that amazing first 36 seconds. Let's see what the rest is like. Was not expecting it to be that fire. Holy shit. And the lyrics are actually really meaningful. I, like, I know I'm grooving to it because it's surprisingly catchy, but I'm glad that there's also some substance here. It's pretty nice. And it's very personal. Which is a hard thing to do sometimes in group songs because like it's very hard to make a song like here i'll be forgotten more and more um i don't like the weak me like those are lyrics that feel like they're about one person and it's kind of i feel like it's sometimes hard or at least maybe that's just how i see it it, it feels like it's a hard concept to really nail when you got like eight people singing it or some shit. i don't know how many members they have but you you get my point right most of the times it's like you know more abstract or more like talking about a collective um or even if they say like i it's more like a i love you type of song or something or something like that doesn't have as much stakes if it's something more serious i'm more impressed when i see the words i used because it's multiple people singing it and it's just i don't know it might not be as big of a deal as i'm making it it's just something that i'm noticing <laughs> Well, she's got the, the cat ear headphones on. Of course she's depressed. I'm kidding. I don't even... Ah, it's a dumb joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I wasn't going to use depressed at first. I was going to use, like, neat or something. Or, like... Because she literally is, like, the, the meme. Like, damn bitch, you live like this. She's gaming. She got all this nasty shit. Homie. <laughs> Homie, clean your room. Why would you do your makeup just the game all day? I I can already see it right now. The the strong independent women in my comment telling me that like, you know, who the fuck cares if I do my makeup just to play games? I can do my makeup if it makes me feel good inside, and that is great. If that if if it takes you doing makeup before your gaming session to feel like you're gonna crank those 90s more power to you i'm not judging i just find it a little goofy oh 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 they got sturdy and i like how the hook combats the depressingness of the verses in terms of like we get the upliftingness in the hook and then the verses are a little bit more sad or at least the first verse was i don't know how the rest of it's gonna be
Oh! 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 Oh my god, I almost forgot about the birds. The, the start of the music video made me think it was gonna be like some normal, like, super big, supernatural type of music video thing that a lot of groups do to make it seem like there's some crazy lore and stakes and whatnot. But then we got a more personal song than I was expecting. Or at least a more, in not intimate, but emotional song than I was expecting. And then I see the bird thing and then the ants again. The ants could just be our dirty ass room, but there were so many of them. <laughs> or, oh, the birds could just be a metaphor though. I don't know, we'll see. Ooh. I like how the vocals uh, sound here. Okay, right as she's about to get fucking murdered, uh, I was going to say, <laughs> like I just said, just continuing what I was saying in the song of terms of like the vocal mixing is just so goddamn good. It's got that, that extra nice echo, but it, I don't know, just, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. Yeah, Switch up that I was not expecting. Wait a minute. Adding a little bit of spice to the beat. This is like little uh, lo-fi uh, hip thing. I like it though. Oh my god. Wait. They're at a grave. Did she fucking kill herself? Oh my god. I'm sorry. Come back. Come back to us. You can wear the makeup all you want. I don't care. I'm sorry. It was just a joke. No! I'm probably totally off the mark. I'm just... This is my first time watching it. I'm not gonna be able to understand it right away. Uh, unless I'm a fucking genius. Because there is a lot going on. But like... I, I don't think this is it. But you know what would be fucking baller? If the verses were... Like all the I... You know... In like the really sad shit. Was from... The point of view of the person before their death and then the hook is like the friends after the person's death i i know i'm wrong i know i'm wrong so please don't roast me i'm just spitballing but like there's also the wings and i think that's the, that's where the the bird reference is so like i'm assuming someone's got to be dead because why the fuck else would they be at a grave oh i want to start again okay wait maybe they're saving the friend and bringing them back Wait a minute. I'm cooking up an anime storyline here. That is a hard shot. Oh, never mind. We died again. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. They're flying. Dude, we're too straight. They're a bird now. Oh my goodness. Damn, both a catchy and meaningful song. You gotta love it, man. Because, like, this part right here, the first time, because it played at the very start of the song, I'm over here grooving, okay? Now, this time, I'm grooving, but I feel the emotionalness because now I'm hearing, even though it's the same exact vocals as the start, I'm hearing the emotion in the vocals now, the kind of almost hidden emotion that I wasn't setting out the context at the start. And now I'm just like, oh, I get it. I get it. It, it. it has this deeper heart. Hmm. Wow, man. Okay, so someone came back to life and didn't die, so. You know, birds can't put on makeup, though, unfortunately. I don't know what to tell you. Birds also can't game. I'm not gonna lie. If you brought... Guys, if I die, and you somehow bring me back as a fucking bird, you, please just leave me in there. Please just leave me in there, dude. Please. I beg of you. What, what can I do as a bird? I can fly. That's fun. Nice. I gotta eat worms. Stupid. 
I do want to see some comments, though, that might shed some light on this shit. Um, because I am interested. Maybe in the meanings. Twenty four people. Wait, how many fucking members does Triple S have? No way they Twenty four members What the fuck? They aim to be the world's first decentralized K pop idol group. So like Does that mean having a Korean member or some shit? Or a North Korean member or some shit? I don't get it. Let me let me look into this. Cause I know it says multinational. I get that. But it says first decentralized K pop group. What does that mean? Well, I guess what does decentralized mean then? Controlled by several local offices or authorities rather than a single one. Okay. I don't know. Okay, so I assumed, sorry, because, you know, I, I have only heard this song. I couldn't tell everyone's voices apart. I knew there was plenty. Didn't know there was 20 fucking four. I thought at most maybe they're like a 13-member group or something and everyone else was just extras. Because, you know, like, they'll get background answers and shit. But now I know. This is the whole fucking group, it seems. God damn. That's so much more impressive. Because what I was saying at the start. Making a song that you can relate to on a one-person level. With 24 people singing it. 24 people with different opinions, different challenges, different problems. Still being able to come across with the same message. Oh my goodness. Wow. I don't even know what to fucking say. How did I not know this first off? Because I've wanted to react to them for a while. But to be fair, it's not like I look up shit about groups that I want to check out beforehand. I'm always bad about like, I start my reaction, then pause, and then, oh, let me look something up real quick. Uh, in second, you know, I, like I said at the start, I just didn't react to it now. But I'm almost, I'm almost fucking pissed that I didn't. I need to check out this album, though. We'll be doing it probably tomorrow. If not, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday at the latest. But y'all will get the album reaction sometime this week. So subscribe if you want to see that. I did not expect this to be so much of a banger. I am going to look up um, the meaning, though. Because, like, I actually am really interested in this one. We might not to get to it on here i might have to look at it you know uh after the video but man what a fucking banger yeah i'm just gonna read it right now but oh wait you know what i'll fucking read the the genius annotation that's unreviewed but still probably closer to what i would have gotten oh wait no it's more about the the song like stats and when it came out and shit but uh, i'm gonna read some shit because i want to know like the the deets is that the, the word for details um yeah Awesome song, though. Shout out to Triple S, man. Uh, peace.